So will, um, definitely our free will is being tested at this time. You might feel like you can't do the things that you want to, um, but stay with that will and really manifest new beginnings for yourself. Maybe using your de determination um, to go forward with a project or a new venture. Um, blossoming, so this is growing, evolving um, into something different. Maybe something that causes you to have a little bit more um, happiness. And then so creation, so this is definitely about manifestation. Whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, it's very much trying to maybe get yourself to have that free will. Maybe you're pro procrastinating or not taking um, steps to go forward for yourself. Let's see, at the bottom is attraction. So attracting things that goes with the creative uh, aspect of yourself, you know, um, writing down intentions and, and just sending them off to the universe, manifesting, believing in your dreams. And then also um, release, so releasing something, uh, you know, toxic stuff, things that you've held on to, people, places, things, anything like that. So, but I definitely do feel like this is going to take your initiative, your, it's, it's like your responsibility to move on the things that you want, okay? If you're trying to start something new for yourself. So let's see. Welcome, guys. I hope you're doing well. Let's see. Let's see. Um, Will. Card 13. Card 13. Card 13, please. For the viewer. So recognition and reward. So definitely this is a sense where maybe you're, you're needing to balance something out. This is definitely a sense of growing stronger. Um, is this where you're sort of guided to? Um, I definitely do feel like with material harvest, it's about maybe stabilizing yourself uh, to go towards some sort of abundance, um, plucking from something, maybe having, um, maybe going into like a new cycle. What I feel is like with the recognition and reward, it's very much the sense of you must use your will. You must use your your um, your drive to move you to maybe something that is successful. Maybe you've been stuck somewhere where it hasn't been quite successful, whether that's, you know, family, love, uh, work, whatever that is. What is this recognition and reward? But it's very much about becoming grounded, grounding yourself. Uh, as far as with it being a, B, uh, a three, it's about mind, body, and spirit that maybe you're having a, a change in. What is recognition and reward? Recognition and reward, please. What does this mean, please? Okay, so um, prosperity began so very much. I feel like you're just somehow being blessed uh, maybe for your hard efforts or for maybe trying to stay uh, somewhat balanced. And material harvest, what's the material harvest? Is this because you've just been sending off good positive energy and it's returning to you? So you have to choose wise, wisely. So this is about um, maybe you're seeing the error of your ways, uh, whether it's something that you've been stagnant in a long time and you've been holding yourself back from moving, uh, to get some kind of material harvest. It's very much where you're choosing wisely now with the seven. Um, it, it's something that maybe you made a bad choice in the past, maybe something that you didn't quite see coming. Um, it's almost sometimes where you find something and you dig yourself into it thinking that it's a good idea and then later on you come to realize, oh my God, it wasn't the right choice. It wasn't the best move. So perhaps this is definitely moving towards um the right direction after maybe a lot of hurdles okay choose wisely please choose wise, wisely what is this what does this mean okay um, so you have memories of love so thinking about the past um you know even if you've had a hard past it's like they're pretty much guiding you to let go of the hard past but remember the good things the things that made you happy the things that brought complete balance and harmony in your life. Um, this is definitely emotionally. Maybe you're seeking things uh, to change things emotionally. Um, maybe going back to a happier time. Uh, perhaps maybe even a person that you're thinking about emotionally. 
um it's very much the six of cups so maybe returning to something and then um financial and material changes so this is a change in in whatever it is that you hold stocks in maybe a marriage maybe um a business maybe work maybe even family it's a change um and i do feel it's like almost like maybe you you have definitely you have the wisdom and the knowledge to move yourself from something um, maybe it's very much you've been in um, those hurdles up and down up and down and now you're starting to realize okay i have the power to change those things get off of that that hamster wheel um with the wisdom it's very much a change as well you have that five that five uh, it, it's really about um, changing something. It, it, they're difficult things to change, but it's not like um, like where you really can't change if you make the effort. You know what I mean? It, it's more difficulty maybe believing in yourself that you can do something different. Okay, that's the kind of energy that I get. These ones fell on the floor as well. So you have. The patience, which is temperance, really, um, you know, trying to nurture yourself, giving yourself time, maybe some time to grow, maybe sprout out in a different kind of direction or a different um, way that you've than you've been, maybe healing, um, and then fulfillment of wishes and material conflict and the trap and the fear. So uh, this is definitely what I feel like you want to go towards this to this fulfillment of wishes and you know healing but my gosh that brain just keeps taking you back to where you're trapped in fear and really the mental conflict is is a, it's about whether or not you'll be successful or um do you have that that enough strength to move in this direction um i just feel it's it's like um you're that teeter-totter you're going back and forth and it's like maybe perhaps that that's what's happening to you one day you're good the next thing you're not um going back and forth but you're definitely being guided to have abundance whatever that abundance is for you with the material harvest and the prosperity begins so my gosh this could be you guys leaving a difficult marriage a difficult situation maybe a job where you're just not making the money um, so that you can make money and, and really use your knowledge and your wisdom to allow yourself to get that stability, to get that recognition and somewhat, it's almost as if you keep yourself um, very guide, guarded from something. Um, I definitely do feel that this is something that you definitely have responsibility to change. Um, you can't wait on somebody else to do it for you. And so perhaps maybe this is spirit trying to move you towards something different, okay? Um, maybe returning to something uh, that was a better choice in the past. Meaning that if you would have taken this choice in the past, it would have been a good choice. But with the seven of, of um, choose wisely right here, it, it's very much where you made a mistake. And, and that might cause you a roadblock. And maybe this is why you're thinking about, oh my gosh, I should have said yes to that back then not so much gone on this hamster hamster wheel and pretty much maybe ended up at the same place where you started if that makes sense it's very much of a repetition um something that's repetition um and perhaps maybe not making a healthy choice but i definitely do see changes um definitely with the five financial and material changes this is something maybe this is you leaving materialistic stuff you know um, new beginnings. What is the beginnings? And so you got victory and success, which is beautiful. Um, this is very much having harmony within yourself. You have two fives now and two sixes. So balancing out the scales, I feel, you know, and you're being really called towards um, stability. You have another three as well. So two, two fives, two six, two threes. It's almost as if, you know, they're really guiding you to some sort of happiness. Um, and you could create a new beginning here for yourself and don't be scared to move forward. Um, the solar plexus is that chakra where, you know, if it's blocked, you can't feel things. You can't be emotional. You just have a sense of um, not really moving, not really tasting, not really feeling or seeing. Uh, this is where the creative side of you gets stomped if this is blocked. So I feel as if, you know, if you're having this kind of moment where you're feeling blocked and you can't move then i would really exercise some kind of um solar plexus cleaning with with your chakras 
Um, and I, I always believe that it's good to clear all of them out from time to time because you get sort of congested, you know, it's like stocked up. So let's see, what is the victory and success? Victory and success, what does that mean for the viewer? What is the victory? It's almost like you want to start over, but yet there's still a little intimidation, a little uh, retrieval, or maybe, what is that called? Procrastination, like not really quite knowing how to take that plunge not knowing that you're going to be successful it's a fear it's a fear that holds you back from going forward in whatever this situation is for you this could be for you for your family for your loved one whatever take it as it resonates so the base chakra see there's some pain here i definitely feel there is some pain especially with the heartache and loss movement choices and decisions someone's deciding maybe maybe you haven't decided on which way to go um, because maybe you're, you're, you're thinking more about others. You're not thinking so much about yourself. And what that means is that you put yourself on the second, um, you know, behind in the back burner, like you, you, you're second, you're not first. Um, and, and what this means is that you're protecting someone else from having the heartache and loss is what I see here. Um, in other words, you're staying in a place that you're not truly happy because you're complying to someone else. Um, you're making somebody else happy. With this, this is very much Three of Swords. This is very much heartbreak, sadness, um, maybe a third party situation, maybe just not allowing any kind of um, healing to occur. But this is definitely where you have to wake up and, and really like um clear your chakras not so much wake up i don't know why i said wake up maybe somebody's waking up i don't know why they said that but maybe waking up to energy you know how energy works um taking that leap of faith on on healing uh, because there is heartbreak here with this this uh, three of swords and i definitely do feel with the movement choices and decisions it's very much about which one you're going to pick there's things here you need to pick whether it's money relationship health or just having a mental consciousness as far as spirituality. These could be four things that you're, you're, um, you know, being called to change and move on from. So this is very much where somebody is moving on from maybe holding on to something negative. It's, it's very good. It's, it's a very good place to be as far as, you know, maybe this is where you're headed towards a new beginning, maybe perhaps manifest it, manifesting it, not so much procrastinating with fear as to where, as to where, um, as to if you're going to succeed or not. There you go. Sorry guys. I'm tongue tied. Um, it, it's very much in your head thinking, oh my God, if I do it, am I going to be successful or not? Or is it going to work out the way I think it's going to work out? Or it, it's fear that's held you back from moving on from the situation. But there's a choice that's going to be made here. Um, and it could be leaving something that has not been so nice. Because with moving on, it's time. It's, t it's time to leave something dark and go into the light. And that's very much where you're being guided. Um, what is the heartbreak and loss? What's this heartbreak and loss? Is it because you felt something? Like you felt something and you're having a hard time letting it, letting it go? That's what I feel they're saying. They, you're, you're, you're scared to move on from something because maybe a failure. Maybe you don't want to let the other person or the other situation down. Um, that's definitely what it feels like. But fulfillment of wishes, once you get past this hurdle, you'll get your abundance, your wish fulfillment. I feel that this is a wish fulfillment to end some kind of heartbreak, maybe some kind of depression, maybe some codependent tendencies, um, something like that. I'm just making a lot of noise today, guys. Sorry. Um, so the ones that flung out are deception and envy. So is this about money? Is this somebody that, that is grounding you to money? Um, perhaps even the deception part of this is that you're not being honest to yourself. You're, you're, you might be living for somebody else. This is a betrayal for yourself, I feel. And if it's not that you're doing it to yourself, it's like maybe you're having a second look at how maybe you betrayed somebody and you want to make it right. Okay. Um, and then you have the, the stand your ground. So this is beautiful because this is about standing up for what you want, fighting back. And so what you f want to fight for is love, a new love, um, maybe even something that you needed to somehow take some kind of initiative towards. Because I feel with the free will, there's a sense of procrastination. 
Um, but is this because you're looking to be more stable? Going through that transformation, giving yourself a sense of stability, um, that's definitely what I feel is, is happening. That's that's what's giving you the new beginning. It's that transformation of opening up these chakras and being able to feel and maybe really seeing clearly that, oh my gosh, I haven't quite been so honest to myself or maybe to another uh, because you're not voicing that truth. So I see somebody here that needs to end a difficult situation, which and then and which then will give you that sense of a wish fulfillment and starting over in love again. Um, very interesting. Maybe this is changing um, jobs, changing families, um, a stability in a family or a job. I also feel it's like maybe changing um, marriages or not changing marriages but ending a marriage so you can get into that perfect one with the love begins this could be self-love where you're loving yourself and you're not so much hiding things from yourself having a true transformation uh that's definitely what i feel it's like whoever this is they're standing up for and that means they're fighting for what they want and they're moving on those are two very positive cards as far as with the transformation just being enlightened to move forward what is what is blossoming? What is blossoming within inside of them? This is really when you you tap into this this beautiful energy of being recognized and meaning recognizing yourself, your higher self, the following of your mind, body, and your spirit. This is where you get rewarded because you take that time to recognize yourself. Um, but this is when you start blossoming. So what is it about them that is blossoming, please, is what I want to know. It brings a sense of complete happiness for you. Um, let's see. So you have the the um, fertility, which is the empress, and the joy, rejoice and celebration. So the three of cups. Do you want to return to this empress? Do you want to return to this person? That is just like the awe. It's like just wow. Um, this would be the mother of all mothers, the wife of all wives. Uh, definitely the manifestor of all manifestors is what I feel. But it's three threes. I mean, you got the three of cups, the, the three, which is the empress. And then um, I know we saw another three here. Yeah, the, so this is what you're recognizing. Amazing how the, they did that because you're recognizing something in yourself, which allows you to return to a celebrated state, maybe a reunion, maybe just being happy. But is it you going towards somebody that is like this with the empress? It's a person. So I definitely do feel, oh, and then there's the solar plexus, which is a three. So you have four threes. It's very much about be, becoming in unity with yourself. These are changes that are happening. So I definitely do feel something is blossoming there that has been somehow maybe covered up, not spoken about, um, not confessed, um, maybe scared to death to do it, to make a change. Um, let's see. What is the Three of Cups? What's the Three of Cups? Rejoice and celebration. What is this Three of Cups, please? Three of Cups. What does that mean? Three of Cups. So you have... Okay, move on it. The accelerated motion. This is guiding you. This is your intuition telling you, you know, communicate, open up, travel, move. Move to where it is that you need to be somewhat um, empowered. And then you got temptation, the devil. So it's very much that energy of we saw earlier where you want to manifest this, but then you go back into the fear. And so is this you moving out of um, something tempting, something that has been somewhat um, heartbreaking or maybe even I f it feels like um, codependent, codependent, somewhat um, alluring in the beginning, not so much now um seducting seductive um is, is this where you're trying to break out of this heartbreak um and and maybe temptation and something that has kept you grounded to maybe not seeing and recognizing who the real you is um that's what it feels like okay what is what is temptation the devil what's the devil what is the devil here um it's like you're trying to reach out of it okay Maybe there is a passion. Maybe there is such a passion with this person and you're just being driven to make action with that empress, okay? Because I see the third eye chakra manifesting this and then rest and rejuvenation. So really, 
uh, manifesting. This is manifesting this, okay? Um, it's almost as if you or your counterpart are manifesting each other. Um, and it, because I feel there's a return to an empress, there's definitely a sense of maybe this emperor, because we did get the emperor. Um, maybe this is the emperor that is really trying to somehow let go of toxic situations to be able to be empowered enough to move uh, into a better into a better direction. And they've put a lot of thought um, and manifesting into it is what I feel. Um, so what is creation? What is the creation here? What's the creation? It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning together. It's a new beginning, a fresh start. Um, that's definitely what it feels like. Emotional loss. It, the emotional loss is that sense of, oh my gosh, like I can't hold on to the cards, guys. I don't know. This person is really jittery. Um, emotional loss. This is something that's been heartfelt. And it's very much where you want to return to that happiness. You want to go back towards that happiness instead of staying at a missing state. This person misses you. You miss them, you miss, they miss you. Um, it's very much trying to go back to that happiness is what I feel with, with the emotional loss. It's another five, it's another form of change. And see, definitely with the, the pay, um, passion ignited, there's a start, there's a start of something. And beautiful because, and remember, we're clarifying creation. So you've been spending time manifesting this. And so creation means it comes to, it comes to a brand new start with the passion ignited. Um, and then positive movement forward and material and sp spiritual prop, um, pro prosperity. So this is somebody who has gone maybe from having so many things happen in their life that had to do with money responsibility which perhaps maybe fogged their their sense of direction um so many choices that they've made for other people but not for oneself okay um that's definitely what i think i said earlier where it, it, it's putting you second not putting yourself first so this is a, a big transformation for whoever this is because you're moving towards that balance you're moving to that place where you've made a choice to move forward um, and it, it's give you a sense of spirituality, um, a sense of love opening your heart chakra. So perhaps this person has done some work as far as working on their energy and, and seeing things clearly. And it's through God and spirit um, that this is happening. I feel this is definitely a sense of choosing balance here. Um, some kind of karma balance is happening here. It's absolutely beautiful. So it's the right direction and the heart chakra is open. It's healed and open. Okay. So let's see here. I want to know how is this story going to end? Okay. Oh, maybe an offer, guys. Maybe it is that masculine getting rid of toxic situations um, to be able to offer something new, um, something tangible, something that you can touch, see, and feel because this is what they want to return to. You see something that makes them happy. And it's that Empress, definitely. So then also, the, see the Knight of Cups. Okay, you got two Knights. This is action. This is time to move. There's there's a sense of, okay, come on, do it. And then um, this one right here, because it, it's something that you're getting a karmic justice. Through all the hard, difficult stuff that you've been through, people have taken advantage of you. People have taken advantage of generosity you haven't had that equal kind of balance within yourself now you're going to get it okay it's really reaching that that um level of karmic justice a balance okay and then you have <laughs> the lovers i'm not the lovers but the two of cups which is very much like the lovers i think um it's a smaller version but this is what your your balance you have a balance as far as love towards each other and you have a sense of balance of wanting to be together is what I feel. And look at that eight of cups. So maybe they're walking towards you. Um, definitely maybe thought about it for a long time. Daydreaming. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. Yeah, let's see. There you go. Justice. Karma justice. Maybe divorce too, guys. Maybe de deciding to stop living for someone else and start making a choice for yourself. Some kind of betterment for yourself. Okay. In other words... Not staying in a, rot in a rotten relationship just because 
it's what you're supposed to do. It's what I feel. Okay. Um, I want to know what, what is the karmic cycle here? What's the karmic cycle? What's the karmic cycle here, please? How will it end? Okay, this one. Love. Oh, okay, that's good. It says love, unconditional love, self-love, and that's what we were talking about. Loving yourself first to make these decisions. And so this is when the passion is starting to be created and it's attractive to you. So hang in there for whoever this is. You're manifesting love, um, which is beautiful. What is the karmic? They don't want to talk about that. Okay, tell me what you want to say. Okay, so... The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So whoever that is, is healing from that, you see. So maybe you dealt with somebody that was somewhat um, maybe materialistic or narcissistic. Maybe didn't believe in your beliefs or didn't think that they could conform to your beliefs. Something like that. Because I definitely do feel this is about healing. With the palm tree, um, this gives a sense of stability and security and really endurance to grow. Um, and, and um, be flexible as well. So really talking, a, a communicating, moving on, um, stabbed in the back, so heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking. It, this person's been in a lot of hurt for a long time. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, um, feeling lost, grieving, mourning, and that's what this is right here. That's what I feel, it's changing because they want to go back to it you see they want to go back to happy not stay in sad separation maybe um so the boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving closer okay so and then with the mirror mirroring each other self-image um and then addiction and girl with the snake so that's the one they're leaving you see oh <coughs> Ooh, excuse me guys um that's who they're leaving is the person that's been addicted to them girl with the snake um that is something who is a narcissist um someone who is a narcissist and really has a lot of boundaries the reason a lot of i think that this person hasn't been able to make choices also is because they haven't been had that room to move um so it's a it's a person who's very they're leaving a person who's very codependent very obsessed very controlling um, it's just a very dark person and it's taken a long time to be able to move away from that person is what I feel. Uh, so I, it seems like they're doing the move though because they're having the transformation, they're having the justice, um, really releasing the devil. So that's a good thing. I want to know what is the karmic love message for today? The karmic love message for today, please. Karmic love message for today. Okay, I guess that's it. Those you love, love you. So if you love this person, they still love you. And they love you, you love them. Awesome. Let's see. What about the words of love? What can we see as far as words of love with this reading, please? Trust. Obviously, yes, you have to have trust. Um, you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So following that intuition. Um, vision, no matter what you see, the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So just remember you are loved in everything that you're doing. Empathy, empathy, you feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. And commitment, you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the sense, essence of your very being. This person's very committed. Um, and it shows in the reading because, I mean, look at all they have to endure. Um, a lot of sabotage, a lot of backstabbing, a lot of heartbreak, a lot of obsessiveness. I mean, it, the list goes on and on and on. This person has been committed to the T with this person. But the realization here is that it's not healthy because it's a one-sided affair. You see, it's one-sided. Um, and what that means is that this person is starting to love themselves and they're healing, they're transforming because they've been living for someone else. They haven't been living for themselves. They haven't been number one. And this person is making themselves number one. That way they can come back and offer something that is healthy rather than something that is not so healthy. 
that's the best way I can say it, guys. Um, let's see. I want to know what is the Quan Yin for today? What is her message for today? Quan Yin, but this reading is okay. There we go. There are days where the cards just don't want to stay in my hands, and this is the day. So let's see this one right here. Um, it says changes in the air sometimes we take things for granted and forget to stop and realize how incredible the ordinary things can be growth does not often seem improbable yet it happens every day in many ways so too is something growing in your life that seems at the moment unlikely or impossible yet it will happen anyway have faith trust your feelings and relax changes in the air and that is going to bring you into your manifestation of something new and really using that drive and that will to move you and have faith, definitely. So there you go. I do hope you like this reading. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe and blessed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I appreciate you guys watching. Oh, goodness. I didn't see this one fell on the floor. And I, as I read it, I was like, I have to share it because I feel like it's could be two different people I'm reading for or maybe multiple people but it says your time will come souls are slower to blossom building their inner beauty over time until just the right moment then the fullness of their beauty power and grace is revealed providing powerful healing medicine for those in need of comfort and hope so see someone's gain gaining their power back I, I feel like this is empowering um, definitely so there you go Goodbye, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome to this guided meditation prayer for protection against sickness and evil for yourself, for your family, and for the world. If you're guided here, it is for a reason. As a collective, if we do pray and stand together, we will banish evil that has been placed on this world. Allow yourself to focus on this light and just draw all your energy into this light. I will turn the music up so you can listen to it and let you hear it for a moment. In this time, just be in a meditative state with healing energy. Think about healing yourself, the world, the sickness that is happening in this world. Think about that. And then I will lower the music and say the prayer. Thank you so much, guys.
beloved Archangel Michael, I call upon you to connect with me and help me at this moment, now and forever. I ask that you and your band of angels unite together to protect the earth and its humanity in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God strips all his fallen angels of their dark powers once and for all, now and forever. May the ones who hold dark powers the ones that have been able to rule humanity away from the one and only true God, the ones who have been creating animosity, fear, sickness, and blockages to God by distractions on this earth be stripped of their powers and omitted from this earth now and forever. May the truth that God holds be revealed and allow the earth to rule in peace, love, and harmony as God intended. I pray, Archangel Michael, that you surround me with your love, light, peace, and protection. Guide me, heal me, and bless me now and forever. I pray that you vacuum any negative thoughts, fears, phobias, procrastinations, ill health, sorrow and sadness, pain, worries, black magic, evil eye and financial blockages that hold that I hold within me. Cut any evil cords and remove these from me and replace them with white light instead. Convert my negative thoughts into positive thoughts, fears with faith, procrastination into proactiveness, ill health into health, sorrow and sadness into happiness, pain into relief, worries into peace, and financial blockages into abundance. Protect me now and forever. Heal and protect all who are sick in the world now and forever. Protect my mother, my father, my sister, my brother, my wife, my husband, my children, and my neighbors now and forever. I thank you, Archangel Michael, and your band of angels for your love and protection and for listening and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.